President Obama has invited his successor to the White House today in one of the first steps to aim for a peaceful transition of power. So the president and Donald Trump have been openly and bitterly critical of each other, but now they're both calling for unity. Here's the president and Vice President Biden meeting with staffers yesterday to talk about the election, telling them to keep their heads up. ABC's Arlette Signs has more from Washington. Arlette, good morning. Diane and Kendis, it's a moment many in this country never imagined. President Obama welcoming Donald Trump to the Oval Office as the next president. The White House admits this won't be an easy meeting. It's well documented President Obama thinks Donald Trump is unfit to be commander in chief, while Donald Trump has promised to undo much of President Obama's legacy. But today, President Obama will put aside those differences. Here he was in the Rose Garden yesterday. We are now all rooting for his success in uniting and leading the country. The peaceful transition of power is one of the hallmarks of our democracy. And over the next few months, we are going to show that to the world. Now, part of the transition involves intelligence briefings. As president-elect, Donald Trump can now receive the exact same daily intelligence briefings as President Obama. Meeting in the residence of the White House today, First Lady Michelle Obama and the future First Lady Melania Trump. Over the summer, the Trump team said Mrs. Trump has always liked Michelle Obama. Of course, we learned that after she had borrowed those lines from the First Lady's speech.